morning, you guys. Just came out to check on the chickens, and I just want to give you a warning and show you a dead chick. I don't know what happened. Oh, it's not dead. It's not dead, it's still breathing. And one of my baby chicks this morning, I thought it was dead, but it's still alive. It can't sit up. Anytime I try to put it on its feet, it pushes backwards. Um, won't keep its eyes open, won't drink, open its beak. It makes little chirpy sounds, but it also, I can hear hopping noises coming in from its nose area. Is there anything I can do? I just kind of cleaned and sanitized the brooder just in case it was something. Everybody else looks okay. Nobody else is standing off by themselves. I think that that was the chick that was standing alone by itself last night and I wondered if there was something wrong. And I even told myself, chickens are social creatures, it, it shouldn't be over in the corner by itself. They normally sleep in groups, you know, they sleep all together, should have known, I should have taken action then, but I thought I was just being overly paranoid, I guess. This dark chick here, oh, yeah, that one right there. Likes to stand off by itself sometimes too, and I'm a little worried. His wings are a little less developed than the other ones that I get at the same time. And he seems fine. He's so cute. Every time I look at it, I want to call it Belvedere for some reason. We haven't got any names for the chickens yet. It's supposed to be a female, a pullet, a hen. So I can't exactly call it Belvedere. But maybe Belva. Belvaline? No. Maybe just Belva. And then I can call her Belly for short. I miss my little Belly Button. Do you guys remember who Belly Button is? I miss her a lot. Hey guys. Thursday afternoon. Just got home from work. Had a rough day. And Lazy Me is really mad. It motivated me right now starting all these new projects, taking on all this new responsibility, when all I want to do is go lay in the bed. No. Today's the day. Slowly moving everybody to the big coop to spend the day out there. All right, I've got everybody in here. Tell him we've got to figure out a way for me to close the door behind me. So it just pops open. So we gotta, gotta figure that out for when I'm out here with them. <laughs> what do you think? So far they've only explored this corner. <laughs> I did throw some mulberries down there. So far, we haven't lost anybody else. So I'm thinking whatever that was, was just one off, I'm hoping. Whoa! Learning how to use those wings, huh? So what I'd like to do... I'm gonna feed, or feed, hang their feed and waters, probably off to the side on one of these beams. And then I wanna do like herb, not really herb balls, but hang, you know, dried herbs low enough for them to be able to peck at and give them something to do. Once they've gotten a little bit bigger and we finish the curing everything, I'll start leaving them out here at night. Once they've been in here for a while, I'll start letting them out to free range during the day or forage during the day. As long as they continue to come back to the coop at night to go to bed, then they'll be free ranging chickens. They start to have problems the neighbor's chicken coop. So if they start to wander over there, then that's gonna be a problem. There we go. Oh, babies. Hmm. Saw this video on Facebook a while back of the lady calling out from her house down to her barn and her chickens all running back into the barn. She said it was like her daily hawk check or something like that. So when I went in to the shed the other day, I was walking past the shed when the babies were in there. I said it very quietly. I was like, hawk, and they all ducked. Like they know that they know it's 
I, I don't know. Maybe it's it's a it's a call. I don't know. Let's check on our seedlings. Here's the microgreens. I think I will go put these in the chicken coop with the babies today. Here is one of the peas. The other one didn't come up. A little leggy. <laughs> I guess there's not enough sunlight back here on this end. I don't remember any of what these are. This might be dill. I don't remember. Basil. Thyme. My zinnias. More sunflowers. Those guys back there. Nothing. Nothing from this one. That might be peppers. That might be why. And then, what was this? I don't remember. That's looking nice. Anybody have experience with marigolds? Can you tell me what's going on? Are the flowers just dying off? Or is this some kind of bacteria? Fungus? Looks like they're like molding? I don't know. They're not looking good, and they were looking so good before, you know, I got them. <laughs> also, this squash plant is amazing. This is the first one I did with you guys. It's the one that's in the bag. This is pro soil mix. It looks great. I'm pretty sure this squash actually got pollinated. This one, I'm pretty sure did not. It hasn't grown. Oh, y'all can't see that. That one hasn't grown anymore. But this plant looks amazing, okay? Very healthy. All these squash plants were planted in the Back to Roots organic bag soil. And they look horrible. This is cucumber. These are squash. They're exactly the same age as that big guy over there. So this Back to Roots organic soil, I don't think it's any good. That Pro Mix is amazing. All this stuff was planted in that fertilome, which also seems to be doing really well. But that, that back to roots, organic stuff, I don't think it's very good. These guys are getting tall. Here's a mulberry. I wonder where that came from. My mulberries are stuck in the ground from cuttings last year. Over here, I used the compost I made and it's just become so hard and it's hard to keep this watered. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. I topped this pepper and when it came back it looked like this. So if anybody knows what that could be, I'd appreciate some information there. I haven't really seen much growth on the four tomato plants I put out here and absolutely no growth on the asparagus. Happy chickens. Hey you, you're missing out here, buddy. Oh, did you find them? You found them. Let's pull it out of here. Oh, here we go. Let's pull this big old guy off top, and that way you can see what's really down there, huh? Yeah, some of your favorites are buried down under there. I just love watching these guys. I can't help it. This makes me so happy. <sighs> I was talking to my boyfriend yesterday. He was telling me that he's going to come... Why do my hands smell like that? Phew. Trim all this back so it doesn't grow over. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to let the vines grow over this.
create natural shade, natural protection. They might enjoy it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give it a try anyway. We'll let them go. And if it seems like it's not a good idea, then we'll cut them back. That's going to be it for this video. This video has spanned several days, if you can't already tell. I've got some work to do. I'm going to be up potting some of my seedlings. So if you want to see that, make sure you hit the subscribe um, button so that you'll be notified when any new videos come out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.